can't find it. So if I find it, I shall share it with you. So I'm here to update you all. First of all, I just want to say a big thank you to those of you that are following me and you know those who are reaching out and contacting me and sharing with me. A uh, big shout out to Bryony. Um, big respect to you with your um, progress. That's excellent. I'm, I'm really, really pleased for you and I, I, I'm wishing you all the best, sincerely. Uh, you have to excuse me, I've either got an allergy or a cold. So I'm a bit sniffly. And I guess I'm looking not too bad at the moment. However, I am uh, I am using still, unfortunately. I did do a withdrawal. Well, I did a withdrawal last week, actually, um, not through choice, through not being able to um, not being able to gain access to the math. either because yeah vitamins that I did have well I can only um, guess that it was glucose with a bit of yellow food colouring in it or something like that. <laughs> yes I had an enforced withdrawal and I've got to tell you that, that that's now the fifth one, the fifth attempt and it just gets it gets more physically painful time but to let you know where I'm at now wow big 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 things have happened um, as I, um, you may know that my gorgeous partner and I have faced some some pretty heavy challenges um, thanks to Crystal Math and um, one of the challenges that, that he faced, and that I faced, um, but to a different degree, um, different uh, presents itself very differently. Um, is <sighs> distorted thinking. Let's put it that way. In fact, no. Let's not sugarcoat it. Okay. Basically, it is um, it is psychosis meth psychosis um, and meth psychosis if any of you have experienced it you you don't know you're in it you know you really 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 don't know you're in it and if you're ever with somebody that's in a meth psychosis my word of advice is or well, in any kind of psychosis my word of advice is to re always remember that for that person, whatever they're going through, even though it may not be real to everybody else, it's re <coughs> it's real to them. <coughs> That's what psychosis is. You can't differentiate. You know, you can't. You, you you may question it, but really, you can't really. You can't tell the difference between reality and non-reality. And um, it's a very very scary place because psychosis is who, whoever gets a happy psychosis come on <laughs> that's a trip right <laughs> so yeah that's my that's that's uh, Emma's handy hint for today is if somebody you're you're with is in a psychosis remember that for that person it is very very real and it's important it's important not to challenge challenge them on what they're going through um, but it's also equally as important not to um, agree with them so you have to train yourself especially if it's a regular thing or, or, or has occurred before you have to train yourself to uh, what's the word I'm looking for be neutral listen be there Oh my god, I've got to show you guys this. This is a beautiful, beautiful sunset. Hold on, I hope I get this. Okay, without getting into trouble. Oh, I can't get it. I've just missed, missed the 
fixed it. I need my camera. I wish I had my camera with me. I am a photographer, by the way. Anyway, so yeah, back to the psychosis anyway. So, the um, last psychosis, um, and the last time my partner used meth, actually, was relating to um, a fear or a suspicion that um, I was in danger of some sort. Um, the consequence of that fear and that psychosis led to the involvement of the authorities, social services, etc, etc. Um, and it's been quite a challenging time. Um, I did attend a what's called in the UK, I don't know what it is in the rest of the world, but over here it's, um, well, it's called a child protection um, conference. Not nice, huh? It really, 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 really hurts to say that. Um, but, it is a blessing in disguise because it's made, it's as angry as I was at the time with with their involvement and, and with the way things had materialised. Um, and now it's all for the. Go on. Sorry, I was just flashing someone in front of me then. <laughs> um, yeah, so if we want, if, yeah, it's been a blessing in disguise because it's made me face up to my stuff for a start, which, you know, I, I do anyway, that's where I've got this channel, but it's, it, it's made me really, really face up to it. And there's a big difference in that, big difference. Sorry if this is a bit slow, I am a little bit spaced out actually. I'm, I've seen this beautiful sunset and I, I really, really want to get a picture of it, so it's distracting me. So yeah, I have been, back to my daughter, I have been forced to own the fact that that I have been putting my myself above her, my, my, my addiction above her, my relationship above her even though I felt like I wasn't and don't get me wrong she's not being taken away from me uh, uh, uh. you know she's being kept with me because we're all working together I'm working with the uh, uh, you know I'm fully fully open to their support it's, I've been asking for support since I was 16 years old you know prior to even having children I, I was asking for support for myself as a child that will be coming up in the future um, because the amount of times where the amount of times where I have been hospitalized through my addictions and my depressions and things like that and I've just been simply discharged by the crisis team and the mental health services is is disgusting and and now um, this is where 
I'm at in my four, nearly 41 years old. Still running around in circles. Fatal shit. But they do know that I've got a very close relationship with her, and that I, am, you know, she's doing very well in school. The difficulty that I'm having is is talking to her about it. She doesn't want to talk. She doesn't want to hear it. She says that she's too young to hear it. However, I beg to differ because she she knows. I mean, she doesn't, she doesn't even need to know what I'm taking, but. She used to be aware of, of my um, alcohol problems before I went into detox back in 2015, so she's not new to it. She's had um, a talk by a guy called Paul Hannan, um, who some of you in the UK will probably have heard of, um, which absolutely captivated her, really, really captivated her. So she's not... She's not that. I just think it's too much for her shoulders. However, you know, it has been agreed that she should know. So I'm going to have to find a way of expressing it to her. And especially because I want her to know. I want her to know what it feels like. And I want to know what she feels like as well. So there, there we go, yeah, so I'm in the middle of this and um, I have stopped working now, I've, I've accepted the fact that trying to take on work as well is just too much. Excuse me. Oh. Um. blessing to come out of it so I'm giving myself respite my daughter's getting the support she needs I'm getting the support I need my partner's getting the support he needs and the other bit of good news hopefully fingers crossed fingers crossed fingers crossed is that I'm going hopefully into rehab like proper because my mum, bless her, God bless her and thank you, thank you Lord, thank you mum for being there, has paid attention, you know, she's, she's realising now that I can't just shake this, I can't kick it and she's, she's going to be the care and my sister, thank you sis, um, they're gonna they're gonna be there to care for my daughter so that if I get a place in rehab I can take it. It's quite big stuff though, yeah. Three months, three months. Anyway, I'm just pulled up at my partner's house right now. So I will pause this video for the time being and resume it shortly after. Um, for me that will probably be quite a long time for you that's going to be a matter of seconds so peace and love and speak to you all very shortly